Hi, fourth graders. We are back to our physiometry. I have a really good helper with me today. Some of you haven't gotten to meet Tucker yet, but this is my son and he's in kindergarten at Black Dog. So he's gonna do it with us and we're gonna go fast through those first words that we've already learned on those previous days. So remember we made a point with our fist like this. A point is just that spot on the page. Then we made a ray with a point on one hand and an arrow, it goes on forever in one direction. Ready, a line goes on and on forever both ways. Then we had a line segment, it was just that two points on the end of our line. And we made an angle. Now we learned more about those specific angles when we said that a right angle is up by our ear and out through our elbow or our shoulder. Okay, a right angle is 90 degrees. Then we said, oh, we have a cute little angle. It's smaller than 90 degrees. And then we had the obtuse angle and it was bigger than 90 degrees. Now today, we're going to talk about some line types and we're going to talk about perpendicular lines. So make a cross on your arms like this because perpendicular lines make perfect 90 degrees. So I'm gonna show you on Tucker's perpendicular lines that right here as he holds up his arms, this space is a perfect 90 degree angle. It's a right angle. Those are perpendicular. We also have some parallel lines. These are our parallel lines. Guess what friends? Parallel lines will never, ever, ever, ever touch. Okay, they go on in both directions forever and they will not touch one another. So we have perpendicular lines and parallel lines. And then sometimes we just have lines that intersect. They don't make a 90 degree angle, but they make an angle when they cross each other and those are intersecting lines. So today you're gonna get to learn about those different types of lines. And remember, when you hear those words, to think about the actions to help you remember those words. See you later, friends.